Hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. The topic of this video is how to get over rejection. But before I get into that, I have to say, ah, we have some new people here. We have some old people here, or people who've been here for a while. Welcome to both. I do want to say for those who are new and who have been here for a while, you know, subscribe, hit that notification button. And if you want to support me, of course, Hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Or if you just like my videos. Um, but, you know, this channel, again, um, is not just for me. Sure, I made the channel. And sure, I'm making the videos. But it's for you guys, both men and women, helping you guys be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. You know, now I know I talk a lot about the dating relations, but it's also the health, wealth, and the mindset. You know what I mean? So it's all about being the best version of yourself in all aspects of your life. I just want to let y'all know, um, you know, I appreciate y'all being here and welcome. So let's get back to the topic at hand. <sighs> How to get over rejection. So obviously, if you are, you know, into dating or if you are really, you know, rejection, we're talking about mainly dating, but it could be rejection in all aspects of life you know but we're going to keep it on the dating here dating relationships here for this video but so if you're going to date anybody it doesn't matter what kind of person you're into you're going to have to deal with some rejection so you got to learn how to get over it the best way possible so not only do you not stay down but it actually uses you use that rejection as fuel to be better and do better next time you know what i mean so i'll give you a few tips here how to get over rejection you know and really how to uh you know not really take it as rejection and just really not seeing it as a negative thing because it's really not you know what i mean it's all about your mindset and your perception you know what i mean so first tip a very important most important thing when it comes to rejection really dating in general you know what i mean and if you've been here for a while you definitely heard me talk about this because this is a staple um, but yeah have an abundance mindset first and foremost having an abundance mindset is the key because when you know you can get other people it doesn't matter what that person you know does that rejection is not a big deal because you know there'll be other people who will want you you know what i mean so when you have that mindset, it's like, hey, rejection is not as big of a deal because it's just one person. And there's billions of other people out here, you know, who you know will be down for you and would love you and would be down for whatever you're down for. That's the first tip. Second tip, very important too. realizing rejection is just a part of the game again. If you're looking to date, you're looking to get in a relationship, you're looking to hook up, you're looking to get married, whatever you're looking to do with another person, you are going to face rejection. You're not going to, it's very rare. The first person you talk to, they're down for you. Everything clicks and they want to do what you want to do. It's just rare. It's not impossible, but it is rare. You know what I mean? So more than likely, you're going to have to vent and cipher through a lot of different people in order to get what you want. It's just part of the game. And you know, I didn't make the game, but I played the game. And I know what the game is all about. You know what I mean? So I just play the game the best I can. And that's what you got to do as well. But first, you have to realize rejection is a part of the game. It's just one of the rules of the game. You know, so realizing that you shouldn't take it personally. And I get it. Maybe you like this person and you really wanted to work out and it didn't work out. It's just a party game. Dust off your shoulders and keep on moving on. So, yes, the third tip. You have to realize that maybe the person that rejected you is just not right for you at this time. You never know what they're going through in their life. You never know what they might have gone through that day. 
where maybe they're in a bad move, maybe they didn't feel like talking, maybe they liked you, but maybe they just didn't feel like they would be able to live up to you. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, them rejecting you is not a reflection of you, it's them. Whatever they're going through, and they decided to make that move. You know what I mean? So it has nothing to do with you. They may not find you attractive. That, again, it has nothing to do with you. That's them and their personal opinion. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you just really never know, you know, what's going on. And maybe at that time, that person is just not right for you. You never know in the future. Don't hold your breath. You know what I mean? But be open if it comes, you know. But of course, you got to always be dealing with other people. And if that person happens to come and they showing you that they are interested, then you make the move. See how down they are. See if they're really down to do what you want to do. And then you make it happen. You know, I mean, it's, 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 it's that simple, you know, Whew. but yes, my fourth tip, do not put rejection on you or your flaws. Rejection is not about you again. You know, you never know what that person is going through or the reasons they rejected you. You know, I, I watched the video of Lucario, so I think about three weeks ago or so, Mr. Lucario, he said, uh, and I think it was Miles who Miles who made the point of the car. I don't know. You know, you got to go to that channel, figure it out. But they're pretty much saying people get mad at rejection because they already feel like they will be rejected because of whatever flaws or insecurities that they have. And even if they get rejected, they just assume it's because of the, their flaws or insecurities. You know what I mean? And that shirt. That's going in with it more of a uh, a negative mindset or a contracted mindset, you know, the opposite of an abundance mindset. But even then, it's just you're going in the into the the interaction with a, a losing mindset, and you're expecting to fail. And when it does happen, then it's like, oh, she probably rejected me because of this, that, and the other thing that you don't like about yourself. You assume she doesn't like it about you, and because you assume that, you project that energy. You know what I mean? And, it, and and she feels that energy. People, we feel energies. We we constantly, boom, boom. It doesn't matter who you're interacting with. You either have a positive energy, a negative energy, or a neutral energy. You know what I mean? And it, when you're feeling more negative, and you're thinking more negative, or you're uncomfortable or nervous, they feel it too. And the vice versa. You know what I mean? So you don't want to put that rejection on you or your flaws. Again, you have no idea the reason she rejected you or they rejected you and you just got to take it as, hey, there's their loss. They dealing with whatever they dealing with. I'm going to get somebody else. You know what I mean? Whew. So, yes, get the final tip here. You should always take rejection as a lesson and proof of progress. And even another caveat, you could take it as a game. You know, when it comes to rejection, you want to learn from your experience. Maybe, sure, you did something strange or you were a little nervous or you kind of lost um, a track of the conversation or you didn't have anything to say. You could have contributed to the rejection. And sure, that is on you. But ultimately, again, she had the choice to reject you. It doesn't matter what you did because some women will still like you even at your worst. They will still like you and still be down for you. So it doesn't matter. And you don't want to bank that, you know, but you want to go into taking it with rejection and learn from it, you know, and even the fact that you took that step and you got rejected, it's progress because you know, a kind of girl who certain interactions, how it won't be good for you. And then also you learn from the interaction. So you do better. Excuse me. So you always want to take rejection as a lesson and proof of progress because, hey, most guys don't approach girls out here. You know what I mean? The fact that you did it, it means you're getting better. And the more you learn, the better you'll get. Or you could take it as a game. You go down about, see how many rejections you could get in a night. That's not your goal, but you just take it as a game. So ah, it's just a game. If I get rejected, hey, I, I got this. You and your buddies can go out or you can do it on your own. You know, see how many rejections you get. 
you know, so it's not really as, there's not much pressure on it. It's like, eh, we're just having fun with it, you know what I mean? Because you want to go into the interaction having fun. Sure, you want to be able to show your interest, your sexual attraction to the woman or through your energy, you know what I mean? But you don't want to take the whole interaction seriously, you know? It's just you talking, you know what I mean? So, I know I, I, I did another video about that, you know, so... <clears throat> Definitely, that's all I got for y'all. How to get over rejection. Um, hey, I hope you learned something here from this video. You know, um, apply what you learn. I'm sure you'll get some awesome results from it. You know, so I appreciate y'all being here. I, I definitely would hope and appreciate if you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, of course, let me know what other video topics you want me to talk about. I know I've done the dating relationship, but we got the health, wealth, and mindset as well. Those are all on the table. Let me know, and I will do some videos for, for you guys. Because, again, I want to help you guys be the best you can be in all aspects of your life, not just the dating relationships. And, of course, if you found value in this video, I appreciate any little bit of donations you can. You know, and only if you found value. That's it. But, yeah, if even if you dislike this video, you know, let me know. In the comments how come you dislike the video so I can improve uh, the videos for the future and of course uh, you know I hope y'all stay safe until next week boom boom always remember the strongest man is the happiest man peace